That would be me. Look who we're hanging with. Jason David Frank. Boom shakalaka. Please do not change channel. Hello World Wide Web, welcome back to the Hanging With Web Show. We are at Tampa Bay Comic Con. I'm GW Publisher. I'm Christian Basil. Welcome and thank you for logging in. That's right. We are here hanging with J.R. Mounts, the creator of Fried Pickle Noir. Yes. Say those three words together. That's Fried <laughs> Pickle Noir. And then say them drunk. Yeah. It's not no noir, it's noir. 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 That's noir. right. It's a French word. We, wait, I got nothing to say after that. Right. It, it means <laughs> black, yeah. dark. Never mind. They, <laughs> they tuned out as soon as we said hello. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're, they're looking okay. up noir right now. No, they're right, like, they're right. Googling how to pronounce yeah, it. Now, I bring us back. What is French pickle noir? All right, <laughs> fried pickle noir. It's like Sin City pickle? meets <laughs> Veggie Tales. French pickle noir is another thing. <laughs> it's more of a dish served cold. Oui, oui. So. But on um, <laughs> Man, we're on it now. Uh, guys, if you're watching the Hanging With Web Show, y'all ought to know what noir is. Go ahead, Google it. We'll go over it. No, okay, okay. 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 Google it. It's I, a dark, I, my first novel was a noir. Okay. Was a noir. Right, yeah. It was uh, a uh, hard-boiled detective noir. Hard-boiled? Sort yeah, of those of uh, classic uh, Bogart-style detectives. Philip Marlowe. Philip Marlowe. Marlo. That's, that's, that's right. That's uh, right. Sam Spade. Sam Spade. If yes. Mickey Spillane. Mickey yeah. Spillane. Right. That's right. The early uh, Richard Woodmark films. And you got it. And you you have a pickle noir. I have a fried pickle noir. It is like Sin City meets Veggie Tales. That is awesome. It's crime stories about fruits and vegetables trying to bump each other off mob style in a seedless city called the Pits, where you meet characters <laughs> like Hell Raisin, Hater Tot, and Spamuel Jack. This sounds like a really seedy place to live. They are rated V for vegetable violence. By oh family. my lord! But they're guaranteed to be healthy by the FDA. <laughs> <laughs> so we lost Christian a while ago. He's I'm just, just I can't tell you what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! This is and not only that. There's a pickle in front of me. So. There's a, there's a, a fried pickle it's designed to be hungry. Yes, that's right. <laughs> if you're hungry for a good read, oh, we God. could keep going all day. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. All right, so I had to stop. All right, I, I will ask the I will ask the same question your mother asked. What the hell yeah. were you thinking? I get two questions a con that always, one is, what the hell is this? Yes. The second is, were you high? You had to be high. Once again, the I same was, question his mother asked. I was bored. I was a musician for years well, and years. Apparently you had the munchies at the time. <laughs> uh, I was writing music for bands and I was performing in bands and writing for musicals and things like that. And I love story. But when, when that takes too many people to rely upon, I wanted something I could control myself. Okay. My friend okay. said, well, you like comics, draw comics. And my first thought was, I'm a musician. All right, I don't do comics. I read comics, and it's like. Wait a minute, do that again. Yeah, yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, 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 I did, I did. But I'm I'm watching Crime Noir, the Raw Deal. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. And I'm eating fried pickles with my friend. She's like, you know, you should make a fried pickle character. I'm like, oh, it's that lightning rod ah, moment. Yeah. It's because, an embolism. Yeah. <laughs> because his name is not Q Fried Pickle. It's Q Cumbersome. All right, so, and every every private dick has a sad tale. Yeah. So he was a cucumber on the police force. Mm -hmm. The mob ingredients move in. The meatheads, melonheads, eggheads. They beat him, based him, juiced him, and fried him alive. But the death doesn't take, so now he's a fried pickle out for revenge. And he's the long arm of the slaw. Ooh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is the punniest show you've ever watched on YouTube, people. Well, I'm what's called a hardcore You're not seeing this, but say Jovita has hit the I like floor. It. They're not even like watching it. the camera this, anymore. It, this is oh, rated, gone. like... I don't I, I lost my pun. It's gone. <laughs> it's, it's, this is pornography. This is pornography. You're yes. watching pornography right Rock now. Uh, wow, we had a couple titles here. So I've dirty. got five books in all. Five books in the all. The Raw Dill. The Raw Dill. Kill Bossa <laughs> Blanca. <laughs> Kill right. Bossa Blanca. Mm -hmm. Nice. The Dirty Half wow. Dozen. Awesome. There he goes up against the eggheads run by Sal Manila out of Shell's Kitchen because he's a New Yorker. <laughs> he's a New Yorker. New Yorker. I like it. 
Leftovers, of course, and of course, the newest book, Russet's Revenge, where a hot potato puts them in a real pickle. You know, as much as I mean it, we have to support the local arts and everybody. <laughs> Please keep this going. No <laughs> doubt. No matter what. No, no doubt. doubt. There's also show. a new color book called You're Gonna Need a Lot of Red. For which I supply the first red crayon because you're gonna need a lot of red. You need a lot of red in this. Anybody who knows crime noir, you know John Wick. Yes, you're gonna need a lot of red. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Wow, what are readers saying? What are the fans saying? I have a niche cult following, all right? Because you know puns are either like the funniest thing you ever heard or the worst thing you've ever heard. So I get a lot of (laughs) or a lot of. uh, Really? Well, I my first thought when I hear a single pun <laughs> is always really. Yeah. <laughs> That's my readership you have, because you have to have if you're gonna go in, yeah. you gotta dive in all the way. Yeah, That's I, right. I agree. You gotta commit. A single pun just makes you anybody's dad. Yeah. Well, That's I how we say, make Michael go away. <laughs> dad does a pun. Michael walks away with his head hanging down in shame. Yep. Like, wow. He's responsible for the therapy I'm going to need someday. <laughs> but if you can do what he does, do if you can do it, you got to write it. You got to write. Uh, you got to write it honest. You know, if you're going to pa- parody something, yeah, you got to be honest. If, if I say crime noir, are you a noir fan? I love noir. Are you a noir? Absolutely. Fan? Noir is like my one of my favorite genres, and so to be able to write a crime mystery straight and then pun it up, yeah, you know, yeah. it's kind of like a twofer. It's like Bugs Bunny and Duck Twacy. You know, so That's you get awesome. these both of them, yeah. you know, so you get, you get both, but you got to be honest. They just heard one of my puns, you know. Now, do, you, do you still do music and is that incorporated into your books? Yeah, actually, um, being that I was a musician for a long time, trying to find a way to write music for an art medium was something I wanted to try to figure out doing. And yeah. when I did, um, I do another title called Scary Tales. Scary Tales. Okay. It's with an I could see not so scary fairy tales. It's like Calvin and Hobbes walking into the Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. Well, like, you know, with the Nightmare Before yeah, yeah. Christmas, you know, there's a lot of music for it. Uh-huh. So, yeah. the first thing I want to do when the snobbies come, all right, the snobbies are zombie snowmen that come back to life hungry for clothing. Because the snowman wow. didn't have brains and he melted, he had clothes. So, he wants wow. other mitts, hats, tutus, black jackets. This guy, you know? look. He said snobbies. I don't know what he said <laughs> snobbies, and the first thing that happened was Veruca Salt. Snobbies! I don't know, I don't know what he smells before bed, but when he wakes up, he's got new ideas every day. I got a lot of cheese dip in this body. Okay? This, is <laughs> a lot, this is built by cheese dip. No lie. But I wanted to write a musical for the snobbies, and then that worked because it was like my great pumpkin Charlie Brown moment. Mm-hmm. And then when I wrote my first adult novel, a uh, comic book called Stuck in My Head, I wanted it. It's about a guy who's happily married, but he's got a really crappy job, so. All he does is daydream about killing his co-workers. So Walter Mitty yes. murderer. Directed by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> so imagine that. Wow. That's exactly my punchline is Walter Mitty by Tarantino. Danny Cage just yeah. rolled over in his <laughs> grave. Well, I wanted <laughs> music for a lot of red. So. <laughs> there is a lot of red in that too. Okay. Um, I wanted I music have, for I wanted to go yeah. any other way. So there's two CDs worth of music that follow his emotional timeline. And you can kind of figure out the seriousness and the sweetness and the anger within the music itself. And you got a book with a soundtrack. Yeah. It got Best wow. uh, Graphic Novel second place last year at that Dragon Con. fantastic. I got beat by Jim Butcher. Damn so you, Jim Butcher. I can say the pickle guy got butchered. But I'm bummed. Yeah, so yes. I, I, you know, it's only second best. That's not bad. <laughs> First loser. <laughs> That's not bad at so all. Music at Dragon is, Con, by the way. It's pretty good <laughs> Did stuff. You just float in the Jungle Cruise I, you know, just stay on. <laughs> yeah, the backside of water. I'm yeah. still trying to figure out how to incorporate that into my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but music I, is, is I always no a more. part of some project. I, I have the theme song for the Fly Pickle Noir written. I just have a, mm-hmm. uh, I want to go to, if I can get to an animation studio to do, do like two or three minute snippets, mm-hmm. I've got the music. Wow. Yeah, I've got the storyboard, so it just takes them out. You know, of time. guys out there, we got some Hanging With Web Show alumnus, some, some animators. <laughs> You gotta call JR. Get together here. We're waiting. Look, people, the bar is low. Okay. The bar is low. That's right. Look, this this is adult veggie tale. Okay? <laughs> yes, yes. That's American right. City, they die biblically. This is veggie tale with T A I L. Just say it. <laughs> that'll like be that. next that'll be his next. I like that. I'll 
Well, the next pick is the, yeah, dare I ask, what's, it, what's up? What's coming up? What's coming up? What's coming the up? Godfather. The Godfather. The Godfather. Yes. He goes up against the Fish Heads, run by Marlon Brando of the Alba Corleone family. He searches ah. for his daughter, Jessica Alba Corleone, and she's been kidnapped by Escargot Face. And only Ooh. Moody Fisk and Rambo Trout know what. Wow. But the, the you, what I'm working on now. Slow down, okay. write it down, you'll no, be I'm, able I'm to just, read it. <laughs> it will still back at noir. <laughs> noir. Noir. <laughs> the next thing I've got right now is awesome. my first watercolor book uh, that I'm, I'm doing color for the first time. Okay. It's called Silver Linings. It was a Kickstarter that got funded in 30 minutes. I wasn't done That's with amazing. laundry, like I do laundry. But I, I wasn't done with laundry, and it was, it was fully funded. So it's about an old man who is uh, a widower. He lives alone in a retirement community uh, they dubbed Widower's Row um, in a small town in Dubuque, Iowa. And they've got nothing to live for. His wife is dead, his brother just died, so he feels, I'm just ready to die. And one day he goes back to the farm to visit his, uh, his barn, and an alien has crash landed into his barn. It's just pieces of everything. And this alien Which, is, by the way, just made life in Dubuque a lot more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got relatives in Dubuque, so I See thought, that? you do what you know. <laughs> yeah. This alien is wounded and it needs his help. It kind of looks like an E.T. type. Okay. And uh, so this guy finds that nursing this alien back to health is his reason for living now. Now he's got a partner, he's got a friend, he's got a buddy. This alien, um, though, is only the top half of the alien. The bottom half lands, and it's all mal mouth and teeth and hunger. This alien is part of an alien race of locusts that des destroy worlds. They eat everything on it until there's nothing left. So the little guy's got to decide whether or not he defends this community of old people or he joins his species. So I, I liken it to like, say, Iron Giant and E.T. for old people. And it's, it's about how old people save this world out of Dubuque, Iowa. And old people from Dubuque saving the world cocoon style. It's called Silver Linings. Silver Linings, coming soon. Yes, yes. And I'll, I'm hoping to be done uh, in two weeks. And wow. it, at the very latest, maybe maybe October. That's wow. my scary Okay, so you, you create these. Yes. You're, you're doing the writing. I do the writing, the drawing. You do the drawing, you do the art too? Yeah, I do it and, all. And the music and the soundtrack. Yep. Wow. One hat, many jobs. Yeah, it's a it's right. a big hat. <laughs> well, my ball spot's pretty big, so it needs to be a big hat. You mind too, brother. <laughs> you. Wow, yeah. I'm Dad, still, I'm still, I'm he's still, he's I'm still catching up. <laughs> She's, everybody's on page two, page ten. I'm on page two. I'm so this, like, this is this is what we've got here. Yeah. We are going to drop links in the description down below so that you can find JR Mounts online. You can check out. Fried Pickle Noir, wait, wait, we've can, got can, Leftovers can, here, we've got no oh, Scary Tales. The Not So Scary Fairy Tales. This yeah. is the Not So Scary Fairy Tales. And then of course, uh, we have a coloring book for the kids or for not the kids. <laughs> because there's a lot of red. On that you go to the restaurant, they nobody That's right. uses. Make Thank sure you. it's red. <laughs> now, we're gonna tell you right now, don't give this to the kids. Okay, <laughs> okay but. Garrett, can I say it? Yeah. We have condiment to the end of our show. <laughs> he has been waiting. Oh, oh yeah, I was on to that. Oh, oh, for a awesome. while. Guys, we're going to wrap it up. As we do, we're going to say thank you to our partners and our friends at Embellish Effects in Orlando. Great stop for all your cosplay and costuming needs. If you're an actor, if you're a performer, if you're a cosplayer. Welcome board, guys. If you just need heavier makeup. Stop by Embellish Effects. Go to Pound of Grape if you're gonna if you're gonna well, sit you down and dive into you need more red. Yes. if you're gonna dive into a pickle noir. Sit down at Pound the Grape. Have a glass of wine. You're gonna need it. <laughs> okay, uh, and enjoy a little uh, fast food. Uh, we're gonna say thank you to Off the Chain with Yvonne Mason, Famous Faces and Funny Space Coast Comics, Jake and Dave over there at Space Coast Comic Con, who has supported the show from the very beginning, and of course our first, very first partner. Some Unique Magazine out of St. Louis, Missouri. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you for watching the show. Check out J.R. Mount's Fried Pickle Noir online. Remember, folks, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next. Noir. Awesome. Dude, that was awesome. That Very was cool.